Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Factorio Living with Biters, where in the previous episode we made a bunch of turrets and biters started attacking all of the walls in the universe. And there's big biters crawling around everywhere and it's quite terrifying. And there's this whole fleet of bots moving. This is cool. What's going on here? Are they are they making up for lost time with their deliveries to the uh to the what's it production thing? How's it? Oh we've already got 30 of them. This is excellent. I'm wondering if, if I should just like make a solid square or like like an accumulator square of them at some point and just see how that goes. Also, biters, what are you doing? Stop with the thing. You're just you're just breaking everything. You're attacking two adjacent bits of wall. Why are you even doing that? There we go. I just I I did once mention to the developers that the bots do this and that it causes issues in uh in peaceful mode. And they seem to misunderstand me. I was I was a bit confused. Something exploded. That's not good. I didn't check in time what it was. Uh, oh, oh, and there's an order to fix. Oh, is it down at the blooming? It's down at the uh, the turret production, isn't it? That seems like the area. Let's go look at it. What what have they done? Did, let me let me move. Where is the problem? It is just about. It is right here. What is it? Oh, it was the chest. It was the chest, wasn't it? It was the... They blew up the chest! Why would they do that? Why would they blow up the chest? Okay, well, back to what we are doing. We didn't finish dealing with the biters up in the, the fiddly area. So... I guess we'll, we'll get them to calm down and move on. The annoying thing is one of them's next to a belt and I hate it when they're next to a belt because I have to move the belt and then put the thing back and I feel like they've attacked that spot before, that specific spot. I feel like it has previously been the target of an attack. So there you go. Are you happy now? Now this other bite is just sat there. Are you gonna leave? Please leave. Why Why are you doing this? I'm, I'm fine, I'll belt you then. If you're gonna be that stubborn. And then we'll put it back. I wish there was an automatic way to do this. It's getting really annoying now. And this one's not so difficult. I can just do that and it doesn't get in the way of anything. And then we have to build the three broken walls. Get them fixed. Take them apart again. And we're good. No more attacks. For the minute, anyway. And I think all our shields are made. Yep, yeah, we've got the three. I guess we don't want to put them in yet. We want to just leave them for now because we're using it as a logistics thing and that's fine. What we do want to do actually is sort of rearrange things to prepare for it by moving that battery there. And it means we can get it charged now before we have trouble later. Okay, ammo. How do we do it? We need steel and copper. Annoyingly we don't have the shotgun shells. I always like using those uh, as my own particular weapon. Once again, it looks like one of those assembled outside the base jobs. Which is no good. I think this could do with the cleanup. I mean, looking at it, it could probably be made a lot neater. Then again, this, the, I, I was only looking at sort of these two lines, really, because they go along and then down and then along and down and along and then they split and one goes up again and one goes down and it's, it's a mess. But they do have to work around everything else. Perhaps I should just build a new area like there and just put all of the random assemblers I'm building around here in it because this is getting it's I've got three of them now and it's a mess and they blew up the chest and why would they do that I'm gonna take the guns so that they can't blow them all up and I have some handy I think it will just build a thing there uh, but what we also want to do is sort out circuits that was what I said I'd do last episode and uh, we want more to be made so that we can get more production going. I mean, I haven't paid that much attention to what is being limited by it, but I imagine stuff is, so we'll change that. More circuits is never a bad thing. And so far, relative to um, rail world and stuff like that, this is this is nothing. We've got four assemblers working on it, that's it. It is always weird because it feels like there's tons of them, but it's actually only four at the end of the day. And you really don't need that many circuit assemblers. You need a lot a lot more advanced circuit assemblers than circuit assemblers, even when half of the circuits go into other stuff. Right, how wise is this? What if I blueprinted it? I just thought of that. I want to do that. Do I have a spare blueprint? No, let's make a new one. I'm filling my inventory up with them now. It could become a mess later. Uh, let's do that. We'll not contain 
all of it, just the bits that will definitely be there because that's how it works. We don't want the storage test, for example. And then we'll just put together the remainder ourselves. How do we rotate this with R? I forgot and was trying to scroll, which is not how it works. Uh, yeah, we have room. There is enough room to fit that in. I say it would be there, wouldn't it? Uh, we can move the iron belt a bit, so it's not in the way. It's not in the way. It is not in the way. I can say sentences properly. That works well. I think we can do that. Do I want to build it all in one go, or do I want to coordinate off first? I think I want to coordinate off, so... I have worked out how the coordinating must be done. I believe it starts here. Unless I've already got it wrong, who knows. Make our first bit of a box. Extend it down to here, it's going to run there. We're going to have a split between them, because I think that is... Actually, we could probably get away with not doing the split. Maybe? It is pushing it, it's quite big, that. Relative to... Well, then again, our solar panel ones are that big. And I, have I never... I don't even get notifications about attacks on that, thinking about it. It's just that well made, I guess. Yeah, that's fine, we can have that in one. Piece of cake. Don't know why I thought it was a problem. So we can actually move it along quite a bit because we can even merge some belts to speed things up. Uh, I've lost my walls. Do I even have any walls? I may not have walls. Let's make some new walls. We'll just craft another maximum amount. Oops, something's exploded down at the power thing and it's, a, it's of course it's a blooming uh, burner inserter. I'm not going to bother because they blow those up all the time and I'm fed up of it. I guess I should just set up a, a, a burner inserter chest and that would fix the problem. I think this might be too far out as it is, but uh, better to overestimate than underestimate, I guess. This is looking a bit messy. We'll clear out the internals and let's do it the proper way. That's the thing, because I've been playing... Uh, I've been getting used to uh, not having bots again, thanks to Factorio Amass and uh, Towns. It's rubbish. It's like manually mining hundreds of trees. It's horrible. Oh, oh crap, something blew up over there. It was a fast inserter. It's not the end of the world, it's just a bit of production that has shut down. That is annoying. We will deal with it shortly. I'm getting all of the walls. I forgot this was... I mean, not the walls, the stone. I forgot that, they, uh, that I'd set it up to be delivered to me. Excellent. All right, uh, there's the walls. Break up the... Again, why am I doing... No, I don't need to do that. I can do this now. I have the power. I have an army at my command. It's brilliant. Okay, uh, we need to extend it along. We'll hop out for that. We'll do that bit manually at least. Because otherwise the biter will get trapped in it as it always does. There we go. Why did I lock myself outside? Let's go in. And bots. Fix the thing. Ooh, the, uh, the, the main construction bot network has come to help. And carried all the walls off. I said they probably did have delivered them to me anyway. Right, we can just uh, deploy our blueprint now. It will need a bit of rearranging. It'll not quite work properly, but it'll be close. Actually, I think all the belts are backwards, but we'll work on it. Oh, you can, how do you get it to place, but not the things where it can't? Because I know there's force place, and I know I'm going to do the wrong one. Let's try that. What does that do? Is that going to rejig the belts that are already in place? Uh, no. Oh, excellent. I did the right one. So they're not finished. Apparently they only had a few assemblers available? I don't know. I didn't consider that half of this stuff wasn't actually supplied. But if I craft a bunch of these... Uh, oh, they're being taken... Oh, oh, of course, my own bots are taking them out of my inventory. I got very confused for a second there. Wait, did they do that? Now I'm confused again. I think I, I knew on some level that they did that, but I'd forgotten, and so it threw me off. But yes, the bots do take stuff from your own inventory to build things. That is a thing. And I'll build four long-armed inserters for the specific purpose, and all of the iron and the, and the gears and the circuits and everything. Delivered all at once. Uh, power poles. We have some here. We'll put some there. And then we'll connect up the belts. I think we want this running this way. And then how do we get the copper coming through? Because it is a bit messy. There isn't much room. 
I think we'd have to run along here. It's a shame, because if we run along, if, if these were swapped, then it would be able to run along and go in an underground belt without any difficulty, but as it is, it will be slightly awkward, but we could fix that. If we broke all this, and I'm just going to do this manually because it takes two seconds, and then put this in as far as we can before some biter comes along and ruins everything. Oh, he's going. Got it. And then clear away this line, which hasn't quite worked. There we go. Oh, it's been given to the main construction network. Thank you. And that gives us the room, if we break that, which does break it, but we can put that there. We can have this split, I guess just turn actually, it can just turn. This does ruin our previous thing, of the thing. Actually we didn't even need to extend it, did we, because we could have gone underground with the assemblers. But whatever, we've done it now. We can bring it around here. It will put a bit of strain on that belt though, with it having to serve... Um, 12 different uh, copper wire assemblers. Wow, we've cut off a lot of this. I didn't realise how much we were taking out. That's ridiculous. It was a good decision to merge them. Uh, let's do that. Now we have to do the same thing with the iron. Um, I guess we'll do the same thing with the iron. We'll loop it round. There will be less strain on this because there's less iron used than copper at the end of the day. Not that much, though. We'll need to keep an eye on it. It looks like the belt isn't that healthy to start with. We may uh, want to upgrade to red belts, I think, for the iron. That looks like what we need to do to improve it. Either way, we now have a lot more uh, circuit assembly going on. This is good. Uh, but we now have this copper not going anywhere. We need to get it going back into the system so it is useful in some way. So I guess we can run it along this way, have it come out here somewhere. There's not that much room, actually. We can remedy that to an extent if we underground it from, like, here. Oops. There. And then the stuff can come out there. Oh, that's the wrong way. Can go this way. And belt round to there, which conveniently is the emptier side, because they're all taking them from the same uh, nearer side first. Then we'll bring this over there, and that'll all merge in nicely. Once it arrives, there it goes. There we go. It may not uh, run as quickly as it should, but it will. It means that there is copper going into the system again. Uh, I think now we work on the iron, because it's not quite enough. Actually, it looks like it's improving, but I don't know if it's sort of stable enough. Actually, it's improving quite well now, all of a sudden. What's going on? Oh, the uh, the circuit line is built up. That was quick. That was very quick. I guess we didn't need that many circuits after all, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to upgrade the circuits, because it's a system that should be upgraded. Let's put that in there. We can hop in. So, yeah, we might want to increase the storage capacity. To uh, we, we can either do it to... Sort of, it'll never run out, or we could do it to, like, Doomsday Prepper levels. I don't know. I think we'll stick with 10 for now. Uh, well, that one inserter working away, trying to do his best to actually make stuff happen. I wonder if the, uh... The fast inserter that was destroyed might be one that uses... Circuits. Where's the problem? It's not here... It's not here. Oh, it might have been replaced, actually, thinking about it. The bots might have rebuilt it, so there isn't a problem. Also, let's grab those. Oh, we got a full stack of them already. This is good. I like this. What I don't like is that there are now so many different biters of larger than small size around. It's scary. Every second, it gets worse. I should pay mind to that. I'm probably going to spend forever actually preparing for this war, and then by the time I do, it's just too late. If we see a behemoth biter, we just run. We just run for forever into the into the hills. The bots aren't taking the stuff. Once again, I think all the bots are busy, maybe. Actually, I think these guys are coming in to take the stuff. Yeah, there they go. It's all good. Okay, I will 
I'm going to put the belts around this before I forget and it all goes wrong. So wait, this was also compressed before, but now there's this whole area here that we could have made use of. But there's no point, because we, we, we already worked it out. We already worked out a system that doesn't need it to be that big. Right, let's run down here, and then we can get rid of this. We've got a bit more room to do stuff. Don't know what stuff. We'll work it out. For that biter to run down there and into that wall. For crying out loud, we were literally deconstructing that. You could have waited two seconds and it would have been gone. So impatient about getting to your important places. Why are they even important? What business do you have in this place you're going to? Is it just a new place to sort of wander around and look threatening in? Do people call you up and, and say like, this area doesn't look threatening enough, we need more biters in, we're going to call in some extras for today. I don't know what I'm saying. These miners have run out. Give it a, oh, wait, that one was actually in use, that bit. There we go. We also got one bit of ore. Right, we want bl uh, not blue belts. I keep saying blue, we're not at blue. I don't know if I should try and get to blue. It will be good for the... Um, the edges of walls. We do have reds merging these, because I think we, I put this in before uh, 0.12, when it did actually matter to have faster corners sometimes if you wanted to keep things at the best speed. We'll just try and run red along here. Try and get it all the way to the splitter, and that should be enough. Because uh, I think if it, if it flows at full speed from both sides of the splitter, that will be enough for all the systems concerned to be fully fueled. We are out of gears and it is slowing us down horrifically. Where are the gears? Give me gears, somebody. Here's some. I'm having all of them. Can't be bothered manually crafting 25 gears per 5 red belts. It's no fun. Right. In. Run along. I want to craft more than I need because I don't like having red belts hanging around. Because you, you eventually can get very full very quickly when you have multiple tiers of the same thing handy when you don't really need it. So I just usually keep uh, yellow and red, leave it at that. More attacks going on in the middle of the base, actually. Has it been dealt with? I think it has. Yeah, the attacks have faded. That doesn't happen so often, it seems, now. There seem to be more and more cases of biters getting stuck and then just having me deal with it. We want two more. The splitter may also need upgrading. Saying that, this is currently running at full speed, I think, or is it actually? I'm not sure. It might be running at full yellow speed. Let's upgrade it then. Because if it doesn't need it, then it's, a, it's an upgrade anyway. Yeah, that, now it's flowing faster, you can see that immediately. There we go, completely full. I would once have had to put red corners on, but no more. Corners are now lossless. It's brilliant. Um, though we had already fixed that problem by the the uh, the circuits building up. Right, where's this attack going on? This one is right up here. It is a wall. It's uh... oh, it's not going away this time. Interesting. And that is a fiddly one to deal with. I'm not sure. I guess oh, we'll we'll just deconstruct the blooming thing then. Oh no, he's done that. Fine, you can go in. We'll go after him and fix it. We can replace that anyway. Is that even... Oh, that goes into science, which isn't moving, so it's not important. Where are you, biter? Where are you hanging around? Oh, you're over here. You've gone straight back this way. Do you want to go out? Auto-saving. Go on. Do it, please. Please go. You don't seem to... Uh, oh, you've stopped. Oh, are you serious? Now we have to. You going anywhere? Please. Please, no! Why are you doing this, biters? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I, I put the wall in just as he decided to leave that way. No, go out the, go out the thing. Leave, get out. Stop running in circles in front of the hole. I hate biters. I hate them so much. I'm going to expand this, though. Because it seems like a good idea. Less corners seem to help the situation. And also it gives me room, if necessary, to build 
a, uh, a pen to quickly trap them in. In fact, got him. Out you go. In comes another guy, but it's fine. Eventually you'll both leave. And you're gone. We can open that up again. Now we only have two, I think. Wait, where are they? I don't see them. I, I swear... Oh, there's one. Hello. Are you going to go out the main door? Go out the main door. That'd be lovely. Oh, you're both here. Please go out the main door. I'll be your friend forever, even though I can't tell who any of you are. It's it's just it's so difficult getting to go over the threshold because they don't they don't get pushed there. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because forget it. And we'll just put in belts. This guy's just happy to go wherever the belts push him. Such as there. Fill that in. We've got one more. He's over here. He's off the belts. Just just go out. All, all of them go into the wall. So at some point he'll get pushed into the wall. Unless he goes that way. That is also an option. I'm sure it's wonderful over there. Oh, oh, is it? There we go. Out. Out, out, out. No, no, don't stop now. And let another guy... No, don't let the other bite... He's blocking the door! He's... Ah! Ah! Now that guy's trying to break out the other side, crying out loud, at least he gets rid of him. I hate biters, I hate them so much, I'm going to kill them all. I'm going to kill every last one of them. I'm going to win this war. There. Out. Fine. Right, we're done. In the next episode. Oh, we didn't set up ammo production. In the next episode, we will set up ammo production. And uh, we'll, I think we'll go have a look at how many turrets we've made. I reckon we've got maybe even two full stacks at this point of the... Uh, of the laser turrets um, and at some point we want to shut everything down and then rig the whole factory to blow I think I'm going to basically run lines of turrets through the middle of all of the bases um, both mine and the biters um, and then activate them all at once so that the bases get blown up from the inside and all of my um, areas are defended that is the plan that I'm coming up with also stop telling me how to cheat stop telling me to run them over with the with the car or to use landmines, or whatever the other reasons were. I can't remember some of them. But yeah, I've got to do this legitimately. I've been saying this for the whole series, and people just keep suggesting these clever ways around it. These are brilliant ways, but this is not the, what the point of the series is. Anyway, I'm just getting angry at the biters here and, and channeling it at you, and that's not fair. So, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.